Hindu Analysis Editorial by Rathod Ayer. Thank you, Rathod Ayer. Really took help of the Hindu Analysis to enrich my content. Hindu Analysis articles. Rathod Ayer. Hindu Analysis Editorial. Hello and welcome to Rathod's IS Academy. So we are continuing this series of UPSC CSC 2024 prelims paper analysis. And this is the last video. Here we are going to discuss 85 to 100 questions and we are going to complete analysis by this video. So please try to ensure that you are already watching the earlier videos that we posted regarding the analysis so that you will be having a clear cut idea regarding the key and explanation part of 2024 prelims questions clear so here first question is question number 86 who of the following is author of books the india way and why bharat matters so it is difficult question so if you don't know the correct answer for this question so it is better to leave this type of questions so answer is d subramaniam jai shankar so option d is correct answer for this question and next question is consider the following pairs so they gave on one side in the table, we have country and next one is reasons being in the news. So always when I am teaching your current affairs in this Hindu analysis, I will be saying this thing. So you have to know why it is in news and the place where it is uh, located and you have to know the map and even you have to know why the reason. So this is the format where UPSC is asking questions. So I will be focusing on exactly the format also. So this is one example where that will show us like I am following the format. So first country is Argentina for worst economic crisis. Next one is Sudan, war between countries regular army and paramilitary forces. Next one is Turkey, reincited its membership of NATO. So actually Argentina is in news because it is facing world's highest inflation. That means nothing but economic crisis. Yes, this pair is correct. And this one is Sudan. Sudan is in news because it is facing war between Regular army and as well as paramilitary forces. The second also correct pair. And next one is Turkey. Not only Turkey, no country has reincited this membership of NATO. So this is incorrect. So how many pairs are correct? Only two pairs. So that option is B, only two pairs. Clear? And next one is 88. So consider the following statement. Next one is uh, about Samud pipeline. So Samud pipeline is nothing but oil pipeline of Egypt. Okay, oil pipeline of Egypt. So first statement is Samud pipeline is a strategic route for Persian Gulf oil and natural gas shipments to Europe. Yes, is absolutely correct. And this one is why it is important, why it is strategic here because it is connecting Red Sea with Mediterranean Sea. So this statement is also correct and even this statement is a correct explanation of this statement one. So which is the correct option? Obviously option A is the correct. So both statements are correct but even it is also explanation part. So this is the correct option for this question. It is option A. And let us see next question that is 89. Consider the following statements. So it is about Red Sea. It is also one of the expected topic. So first statement is Red Sea receives a very little rainfall in any form. Yes, of course, it is the right statement. And even one more feature is, so there is no river which is draining here. So no water enters this Red Sea from rivers. So these two statements are absolutely correct regarding this Red Sea. So which of the statements are correct? C, both one and two. So this is simple question. So whenever geography sir is discussing about this Red Sea, he will be discussing all this major points of rivers, ocean, seas, okay? That will come under mapping part. And next one is question number 90. So according to EPA, that is Environmental Protection Agency, which one of the following is the largest source of sulfur dioxide emissions? So where we are getting more sulfur dioxide emissions according to this report or according to this agency? So this is a demand of question. So option A is locomotives using fossil fuels. Next one is ships using fossil fuels. Next one is extraction of metals from ores. Next one is power plants using fossil fuels. So according to this agency, correct answer here is D, power plants which are using fossil fuels. They are releasing more amount of sulfur dioxide emissions into atmosphere. Okay, now let us see 91 question. So it is again in statement format. So this year we had good number of statement format questions, okay? 
so you have to be prepared with this area also so first one is there is instability and worsening of security situation sahel region sahel region is nothing but the region around like aspas of this sahara desert and this one is there has been military takeovers coups in several countries of this sahel region in the recent past yes the important reason why the sahel region is in news because of military takeovers and coups these two statements are correct and even the second statement is correct explanation part for this question so with the basic knowledge also you can do this question so there is no need of exact you have to prepare for upsc to answer this so correct answer here is a okay for this 91st question and let us see next question 92nd consider the following statements again statement wise question so statement one is india does not import apples from us next one is in india the law prohibits import of genetically modified food without approval of a competent authority which of the following is correct in respect to to above statements so actually if you see our imports of apples yes we do import apple from usa okay it is saying that no so this statement is incorrect and if you see in these options if you know one statement is incorrect then you will be coming across the right option so statement 1 is incorrect but statement 2 is correct so option d is the correct answer so even though if you don't know like whether we have to take permission for this genetically modified or not if you identify this first statement which is correct or not the correct answer is d so in this way you can think smart in your examination right and next question is 93rd question it is about speaker of lok sabha it is also very direct question so with reference to the speaker of lok sabha consider the following statements first one is he or she shall not preside so you have to see one more statement which is given here that is while any resolution for the removal of the speaker of lok sabha is under consideration so whenever there is any resolution for the removal of speaker of lo, uh, lok sabha is there so what can be the speaker done okay so first one is he or shall not preside he or shall not preside okay and next one is he or she shall not have the right to speak why they can speak right because it is their resignation or it is their removal yes they have right to speak but this is the wrong so they are saying that they shall not have any right and this one is he or she shall not entitled to vote on resolution on the first instance so if there is any type yes they will be voting so it is also incorrect so here which of the statements are correct a one only one only is the correct answer and next one is 94th question with reference to the indian parliament consider the following statements so actually this is also one important uh, topic that we gave to our students so this is also one of the expected topic because we are not we are going to have the dissolution of lok sabha we know because of elections so this is the one important area where you can expect and the question came that our students are very lucky because we gave expected topics to them okay so first statement is a bill pending in lok sabha lapses on its dissolution yes of course it is correct so if bill is pending then it will be obviously lapses and this one is bill passed by lok sabha and pending in rajya sabha lapses on dissolution of lok sabha yes because it, it is incomplete passage of bill and this one is bill in regard to whom president of india notified his or her intention to summon the houses to joint sitting lapses on the dissolution of lok sabha so one thing you have to remember here is whenever any bill regarding this joint sitting is there that will not go into lapse okay because already they had been tied right so here we can eliminate this three the correct answer is b1 and 2 only so for this question and let us see next question question number 95 again question from polity with reference to parliament of india consider the following statements first one is prorogation of house by president of india does not require advice of council of minister so for prorogation for termination yes they have to take the advice of council of minister who is headed by prime minister so how can how can the statement say that there is no need of requiring of permission yes we need so this first statement is incorrect 
and next one is prorogation of house is generally done after the house is urgent signed die but there is no bar on president of india prorogating the house which is on session yes of course so this statement is correct and next one is dissolution of lok sabha is done by the president of india who save in exceptional circumstances does so on advice of again council of ministers yes this is also correct so how many statements are correct two statements that is two and three so here you have to identify the code so here one is incorrect correct option is two and three so option c is the correct answer so by elimination method you can come to this correct answer for this question and next one is consider the following statements again this is tough question i can accept okay first statement is the european parliament approved this net zero industry act recently and next one is the european union intends to achieve carbon neutrality by 2040 and therefore it aims to develop all of its own clean technology by that time so here the target year to achieve this carbon neutrality is 2040 of european union so tell me how many statements which are correct here tell me so actually here yes european parliament had been approved this recently but carbon neutrality target is 2050 and actually by 2030 they want to get at least 40 percentage of clean technology to achieve this carbon neutrality by 2050 so this is the target so here this statement is completely wrong so if you see this taken statement is wrong so correct option will be statement 1 is correct but statement 2 is incorrect clear option c is the correct answer for this question clear students and i am giving you the explanation part also where it is required so if you want you can make a note so that analysis of previous questions will be done easily yeah now let us see the next question also that is in the same format so statement 1 says recently venezuela has achieved a has achieved a rapid recovery from its economic crisis and succeeded in preventing its people from fleeing immigrating to other countries whether is it right no not at all so it had not achieved this rapid recovery and next one is venezuela has the world's largest oil reserve so it is absolutely correct statement so correct answer is statement 1 is wrong so option d is the correct option so in the statements uh, type of questions so if you read or if you know that one statement is incorrect then you can easily go through the correct answer so it is one advantage if you are having this type of questions and next one is about one scheme with reference to digital india land records modernization program consider the following statement so it is talking about land records digitalization or modernization so to implement this scheme yes funding is given by central government that is 100% fund so actually it is an example of central sector scheme so whenever there is central sector scheme yes 100% funding will be given by central government so i'll be saying continuously whenever there is any scheme in news which appear in the newspaper i'll be saying about the central sector scheme central sponsored scheme so if you are one of the follow of uh, follower of our analysis you will be doing this question clearly and next one is under this scheme cadastral maps are digitalized that means nothing but pictographic maps and next statement is an initiative has been undertaken to transliterate the records of rights from local language to any of the languages recognized by constitution of india yes this is also correct so here 1 2 3 all these statements are correct regarding this so and so program so correct option here is D one two and three, clear about the explanation part. Okay, now let us see the next question, which is also regarding one famous scheme that is Pradhan Mandri Surakshit Matritva Abhiyan. So first statement is the scheme guarantees a minimum package of antenatal care services to women in their second and third trimester of pregnancy. and 6 months post delivery healthcare service in any government facility and this one is under the scheme private sector healthcare providers of certain specialties can volunteer to provide services at nearby government health facilities so actually if you see this first statement half is right 
that is they are going to get antenatal care services for second or third trimester but even even in a house also they will be not taking care for six months after delivery how government will be taking care of so how are you expecting that no right so this statement is incorrect so correct answer here is b two only yes it is giving permission for this private sector for providing some special specialities and for providing awareness okay to the people they are also promoting or they are also giving some support to this private healthcare uh, providers in this case for especially to give some specialities to volunteer them or to make awareness camps etc so the second statement is correct so answer will be b two only and let us see the next and the last question is also regarding one scheme with reference to pradhan mantri shram yogi mandan yojana consider the following statement so one is entry age group for enrollment in scheme is 21 to 40 years but if you have gone through the provisions it is from 18 to 40 years not from 21 to 40 it is clearly mistake it is clearly wrong and this one is age specific contribution shall be made by the beneficiary yes of course and under this scheme they will be getting 3000 rupees per month until age of 60 years so it is one of the provision it is also correct and next one is family pension is applicable to spouse and unmarried daughters so spouse it's okay yes it is not for unmarried daughters so this statement is wrong so how many are correct two statements which are they 2 and 3 so if you see the code here so 2 and 3 is present in option b and option b is the right answer clear so this is our explanation part and i gave you the key and even i analyzed each and every statement so in this way you have to analyze your previous questions for upsc and one more thing i want to say here is so if you want to take any foundation course so try to take decision correctly so try to join in a correct institution where they are providing daily prelims practice where there is main sanskriting practice where there is proper mentorship so actually in our rathods as academy so we are providing daily four to five hours of gs classes on based on that there is prelims test every day and even there is main sanskriting program so we are focusing on this main sanskriting from day 1 onwards so i think you may not believe that so 27 we started batch till now our students they answered more than 50 questions 50 mains questions and one more thing is now they are in a condition to identify and to read newspaper on their own within this 15 to 17 days so now you can understand so how much efforts we are taking towards the development of the students we are always providing the care and even we are going to release a video of how one to one mentorship is going on with the mentor and student and even there is directly one to one mentorship by toppers toppers will be talking to our students directly and they will be giving the tips to clear this examination okay and even in rathod science academy we are providing ncert series and current affairs course and as well as the main sanskriting course ethics course essay course gs foundation course both online and offline and even you can get single subject recordings that is also available in our academy so if you want to take any course you can contact us on this number 8074765513 and please do join the courses that will be benefiting for you and take a right decision so this decision of joining the coaching institute will be having impact on your life in future so take a right decision and join in a right institute and if you want to talk to me directly you can call me on this number or even you can message me on whatsapp on this number okay so that's all for today and i hope this analysis is very useful for you guys right so if you really like this class hit the like button and please do share this class to your friends and don't forget to subscribe to rathod's is academy and for more updates so please download our rathod's is app and the link is given in the description box and thank you so much for watching guys and all the best